when you, you were, so you, you, you're listening to these stories tonight, um, what was going through your mind? Well, um, the number one thing going through my mind is the, the people I saw up on stage tonight are all missionaries. And to, in my business dealings at Amazon, I, we often buy uh, companies, smaller companies, um, smaller than Amazon, but sometimes they're fairly large companies like Whole Foods, but oftentimes they're very small companies. And uh, I'm really mainly looking for one thing when I'm talking to the senior leaders of those companies, and it's, are they missionaries or are they mercenaries? Because the missionaries build better products and services, they care for their customers more. The, the mercenaries are trying to make a quick buck, they're trying to flip this company and sell it. They built it to, for sale. They always wanted to sell it, they wanted to get rid of it. And, um, and those companies aren't built to last. Uh, so that's the main thing I thought about when I saw these people on stage tonight, all the award winners, and I think it's probably true for everybody who goes into government service and takes that service seriously. You do that because it's, it's a mission. Um, you know, and if you, the, the, the people, you know, people in the government service could easily make more money uh, in the private sector. Be a, there's a, they're not doing it for that. They're doing it because they have, they're getting meaning from it. And I, I tell my kids, you can have a job, you can have a career, or you can have a calling. And you want the calling, whatever that is, because that is when you're, you know, 80 or 90 years old and in a quiet moment of reflection, telling yourself your most intimate version of your life story. What do you, ha what do you want to have? You want to have meaning in your life. You have to have had a calling. 